Well, I'm Dave Wood. I'm actually the first patient at the McLaren Proton Center. It all started probably about five years ago. I was having some prostate issues and went to a urologist. And ultimately, they finally decided to take a biopsy. And it was pretty bad. Uh, by the time they discovered my cancer, it was stage three. It was beyond the prostate barrier. And it was hiding behind a low PSA. At that time, my Gleason score was a nine. And if you know anything about prostate cancer, that's a really bad cancer. When I went and saw Dr. Mahmood, she told me, she said, you know, I really think you're seeking the wrong treatment. I know you want to have it cut out, and that's the natural first inclination for people is to cut that out. She said, but I think it's the wrong move. And she says, I'm thinking about your quality of life and what will happen with surgery versus what will happen with radiation treatment, and I think that's, that would be best for you. I had not realized exactly at that point how ugly this cancer really was. And so she said, would you go talk to Dr. Gare over in Flint? And he told me what the opinion was of these other physicians that he knows across the country. And he said, there's a couple of other options out there now. And one of those options was proton radiation. Proton therapy as a treatment, since it is very precise, localized, and spares surrounding normal tissues, it can give us multiple tools in curing cancer. When we talk about cancer treatments, we have advanced a long way from the old days. We can cure many cancers. We can selectively treat tumors by treating with protons, less radiation to normal tissue, less side effects, better quality of life, better functions, and less risk of second malignancy. When I was first diagnosed and, and talked to the oncologist, I was surprised at how common prostate cancer is. My initial uh, meeting, we spoke about the different options, standard radiation versus the proton beam radiation, and which would work best for me. And uh, the oncologist felt, given my circumstances, uh, that the proton beam radiation was exactly what was needed. Proton therapy is a newer way of giving radiation treatment. We've kind of reached a plateau with what we can do with x-rays. So protons are a different way of putting energy into a tumor that's just as curative, but decreases the side effects. The protons are like little billiard balls and they go inside the tumor and they stop there. They don't go out the other side. They don't hit the heart if the heart's behind the tumor. Decreases the risk of damage to the bone marrow, causing a drop in blood counts. Decreases the risk of heart damage or lung damage when we're treating cancers of the breast, the lung, and the esophagus. So this represents an advance in how we can treat cancer because we can be just as aggressive on the cancer, but much safer for the patient. As soon as a patient is seen, we emphasize heavily on uh, with regards to the quality of their care, as well as making sure we're getting things, things done as quickly as possible for them. Once they come in to see a physician for consultation, we go over all the details with regards to their care, uh, spend as much time as needed with them in, a, in order for them to understand what's to come. I thereafter work with a team of uh, dedicated therapists, physicists, and dosimetrists to make a plan that works best for, for the patient. Uh, as it's not a one-size-fits-all, we have to make sure that the plan works for them specifically and their them, their cancer, and their body it would help patients that otherwise can't find treatment anywhere else. Proton therapy has the added benefit is that you can actually significantly diminish the entrance dose to any organs in front of the tumor while depositing all the dose that you need at the area of the tumor and essentially no exit dose coming out afterwards, thereby delivering minimal to no dose to the surrounding organs and diminishing side effects significantly. Our role is to bring the patients in and give them their actual treatments on a daily basis. Treatment time in the room usually takes about 30 minutes, and most of that time is us getting them into position. As a patient navigator here at McLaren, I walk the patients from the initial interest in Proton to the last day of treatment when they ring the bell. Just seeing the patients come in every day, some patients will struggle, but giving them that hug that they need sometimes puts a smile on their face and makes me feel good and gives me the gratification of treating them every day. The process was very simple. I'd come in and lay on the table, get my treatments, and go home and go to work. And I just come in for the 30 minutes, 40 minutes that it took for treatments and go to work. And I felt great the whole time. The therapy that you go through is painless and very targeted towards my particular type of cancer. I recently treated a gentleman with a very high risk prostate cancer that would potentially be in his lymph nodes. So we had to treat a large area of his body in order to treat all these lymph nodes. 
Usually that causes diarrhea, difficulty with urination, lots of fatigue. This patient that we treated with proton therapy, uh, he didn't have problems with his bladder, he didn't have problems with his rectum, he didn't have diarrhea, he didn't have severe fatigue. And based on his proton plan, compared to the traditional x-ray plan, we were able to reduce the amount of radiation by 90% to his rectum and to his bladder, and I think that's a big part of why he did so well. There are some special advantages to the McLaren Proton Therapy Center. One is that we can accurately target each tumor in three dimensions by doing a quick CAT scan prior to treatment. That lets us see the actual tumor and not just the bones around it. This helps us be very accurate when we're putting the radiation into the tumor. When I talk to people about their cancer treatments and I talk about my treatment, I do tell them, I said, you need to really check out Camarano's Cancer Institute at McLaren Flint. They want what's best for the patient and they will treat you what's best for you. With our comprehensive team, we can help the patients, not only for treating their cancer, but the support that is required for taking care of their needs and their family. We have a facility adjacent to the Proton Center, the Hospitality House, which is a very nice facility. They can stay and get the treatment if they live far away. And I'm proud to say we have this here at McLaren Proton Therapy, Carmanos Cancer Institute.